Definitely do not have enough time to do this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Hey guys, it's Kate and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about an award I won called the Potential Spirit of Community Award. And I'm just gonna talk about my overall experience, how I got it and all that kind of stuff. So if you wanna know about that, keep watching. That was really cringy, I didn't like that at all. In November of last year, I submitted an application to the Potential Spirit of Community Awards. There have been two more people at my school that had done it, and so everybody kind of wanted me to do it, so I did it. Um, I didn't really expect my child, but I definitely did not think I was going to get it. So basically what the application asks you to do is answer these questions about your service and like, how you contribute to the community and talk about what your passion is, that kind of thing. If you guys don't know, a lot of you may not know this because I don't really talk about it on my YouTube channel, but um, I have a advocacy campaign called Make It Happen. Three years ago, I was diagnosed with a rare degenerative neuromuscular condition called Friedrich's ataxia. There is currently no treatment or cure for FA. After I was diagnosed, I went through a phase of feeling alone and defeated. I could only find a few people online with the disease, and none of them were my age. I decided that I didn't want to just sit on the sidelines throughout the course of my disease. I wanted to take action and help spread awareness about FA and rare disease in general and raise funds for FA research. So I started a campaign called Make It Happen. I create a website, Facebook, and Instagram account to reach out to others struggling with FA or other rare diseases. As my condition began to progress, I started noticing how the world treats those who are disabled differently than everybody else, and not in a good way. I expanded my campaign to educate people on those living with disability. I started a YouTube channel to help empower those with disabilities by sharing my story and my journey through everyday life. Over the past three years, Make It Happen has raised $100,000 for FARA, a national organization dedicated to finding a cure for Epic. Make It Happen has also created a place on social media for teens living with rare disease or disability to feel less alone. So that's basically what my application said. I mean, it was a lot longer than that, but I'm not gonna talk too long because you probably don't wanna hear me talk that long. So that's what I did and I sent in the application. And then a couple of weeks later, I got the notification that I have won the award on the school level. In January or February, I got a letter, or my principal actually got a letter. He called me in and he was like, you got the Prudential Award for the state. Basically, what that means is I got the award for the top high school volunteer in the state of Louisiana. So, it comes with a lot. Prudential sends out a um, press release telling a little bit about you and like why you won the award, that kind of thing. And so, right after that press release out, went out, a lot happened. I was doing interviews, I was speaking, I was helping, or people were writing articles about me. So I did a lot of speaking and stuff, which you probably saw in here, but, and I really love doing that. I love going and speaking about what I do and what I'm passionate about. If you want me to come speak for you, my email's in the description. <laughs> the big part of this board is you got to go on a trip to Washington, D.C. with all the honorees from all different states and six or seven countries. So I got to go and meet all the different, all the other honorees and hear their stories and I did interviews and... Okay, so I'm editing right now but I forgot to mention um, that I did an interview with Prudential. If you guys want to watch it, I'll put the link in the description and also in a little like annotation card. Got to visit the Capitol and talk to my senators and do a bunch of cool stuff that was really fun and I will honestly never forget it. I met some of the most amazing people that have passions similar to me and I also got the opportunity to learn about a lot of different organizations that 
people are working for and a lot of different stuff that people have started and to see that dedication in such young people is really inspiring. This is my name tag I got that I had to wear. It was a very busy trip. We were on a bus for a lot of it. We didn't really do much sightseeing because we didn't really have time. It was really chaotic, but it was really fun. I made a lot of memories. I will, I didn't get to film a lot just because it was so busy and you don't really know people and you don't wanna like stick a camera in their face. But I will include some of my videos and pictures that I did get. I just wanted to tell you guys about my experience because honestly it was one of the best experiences of my life. And I'm so happy that I had the opportunity to get this award and go on this trip. It was amazing. Um, so I think that's all I'm gonna say because I could go on for hours, but I'm just gonna stop here. Met this girl down by the vine Had long ten legs and deep brown eyes Seemed the type I would wanna make mine She said, I can tell you're not my type You're Mr. Wrong I Louisiana, Kate Walker Kate is dedicated to raising awareness about the importance of treating people with disabilities the same as everyone else she also raises money to help find a cure for Friedrich's ataxia, a rare neuromuscular disease that she was diagnosed with in 2016. Yes, that is Viola Davis. She was our keynote speaker. I'm still freaking out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out, Fabinous. Bye.